popcorn reactions back in actions. Beautiful, beautiful to see you on. That's what we share in common. We all like this crazy mess. Cause y'all asses is crazy. Today, I think we should do this. Whatever it is, they won't have a chance. The 2008 drama thriller Grand Torino. This is a clean Eastwood film. This would be my second on this channel. The first being Unforgiven. I'm just going to get into this film. I'm going to press play. If you're new to the channel, first of all, thanks for stopping by. Even if you don't subscribe, you just be like, I want to hear this shit. That's okay, too. Just thanks for stopping by. All my Patreons, you all know we family. Everyone on YouTube, thank you so much. Subscribers, you all know we get busy. She was a real peach. Thanks for coming out. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. <laughs> Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. The point I'm trying to make is that there's nothing anyone can do that won't disappoint the old man. It's inevitable. Why don't you have him move in with you? <laughs> is that not their mother? To those of us who know the salvation that awaits. All of these questions can frustrate you at times like this. And that's why you have to turn to the Lord. Cool, I found a medal. Look at this. Wow. And no one's gonna offer to help, huh? Grandpa, what would you like some help with this? You probably just painted your nails. Not the best relationship with his family. Grandpa, when'd you get the uh, vintage car? Uh, you don't like nobody. Uh, it's been here since before you were born. What are you gonna do with it when you, like, die? Do you have any jumper cables? My uncle's car. Oh, we don't have any jumper cables. And have some respect, Zipperhead. Your wife and I became quite close these last few months. She asked that I watch over you when she passed on. She said she couldn't remember the last time you went. Is that so? It is. <laughs> you mean, mama. Man, everybody got a plate. Everybody brought a dish. Wish I could help, Dad, but uh, gotta get the kids home. Kids are getting restless. Yeah, fine, just go. I would help, but the kids are getting restless. Well, at least he didn't say anything this time. He didn't need to. Well, what do you expect, Mitch? The man worked at a Ford plant for all those years. I might want to hear that you whine about your daddy. <laughs> Damn barbarians. <laughs> This racist ass. He does whatever his sister orders him to. Sister orders him to. How could he ever become the man at all? Today is the blessed day for the child is born. Have to move in the Are you gone completely deaf or something? What are you peddling today, Padre? Nothing. Well, I think you're an overeducated 27 year old version. And he had to close the door on his face. Would you look at him? Yeah, we can do this right now. Fuck. We'll fucking back to your country. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, Come on, Lord. Baby. This was going on in your neighborhood? Where in the hell is he supposed to sit? Yo, fuck it, man. Let's go. Come on, Spike. He's that fuck it. Hey. Get it, man. Let's go. Hey. No, man, keep going, man. You're doing the right thing. It's got a strap. Tomorrow I'll see you because why? I don't want to get in the car. There ain't no way for me to sit in that car. It ain't supposed to be that many people in the car now. Hey, Tom. Fuck, is he gonna sit at? What? I can't just come and talk to my little cousin? You guys are stupid. I'm going inside. What? Sue. Come on, ride with us. Come on. Come on, chill with us. Yo, just leave him alone, God! Anyway, they're trying to recruit. We're cousins, right? Come on. 
What could That's your pitch? <laughs> Look at me now. Dude, man, take this shit off, man. Come on. Come on, roll with us, man. Come on. He doesn't want to go. Leave him alone. Nice. Yeah, my little cousin be a little man. 1972 Gran Torino. Fastback. Yo, Cobra Jet Engine. Meat rough? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just came down to talk to Walt, if that's okay. Why you keep calling him Walt? Damn, Padre. You are persistent, aren't you? So, what do you want? That's what you know about life and death, and it's pathetic. Horrible things. And what about life? I survived the war. Got married, had a family. Sounds like you know a lot more about death than you do living. <laughs> Damn, this man went and got a rifle. No, go the fuck away. Hello. Afternoon then. <laughs> so what do you want? You wouldn't happen to still know that guy from the plant that has the Lions season tickets? Yeah. <laughs> All the time they call when they want something. Sweet. Hey, what's up? What are you guys doing here? Oh my god. <laughs> I told what? you guys already. God damn, boy, I won't leave that boy alone. Don't go, Top. Mind your own business, girl. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come. They're going to, they're kidnapping them. Oh, shit. I'm going to push the old man down. My lord. And you know he got his rifle. Fuck out of here. I blow a hole in your face and then I go in the house. We used to stack fucks like you five feet high in Korea. Damn, that was some terrible shit to say to somebody. Thank you. Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this fool. Look how he adds to the door. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. No. Don't throw it away. Stay right there. Stay right there. Why are you bringing me all this garbage anyway? Because you saved Tao. Rude. I'm not a hero. Too bad they think you are. And that's why they keep bringing you the gifts. This is my mom, Boo, and Sue, and that's my brother, Tao. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For trying to steal your car. You step on this property again, you're done. He react like an old man in the neighborhood will react. I do work with some of the Mon gangs, and I heard there was some trouble in the neighborhood. Why didn't you call the police? When we were in Korea and a thousand screaming gooks came across our line, we didn't call the police. About how you carry around all the horrible things you were forced to do. Horrible things that won't leave you. And I've seen a lot of men who have confessed their sins, admitted their guilt, and left their burdens behind them. You finally look like a human being again. You shouldn't wait so long between haircuts, you cheap son of a bitch. Yeah, ten bucks. Jesus Christ, Mark. See you in three weeks, Brick. Not if I see you first, dipshit. Special uh, relationship with his barber, I see. That's cool. Kevin yeah. Furline, who is that? Yeah. Oh, that's Steve. Man, look at that's Clint's um son. Ain't that little tight ass over mm. here. Come here, girl. The rapist? What? Mm mm. Let's go down the corner spot, you know, get some CDs. Yeah. Well, well, shut the fuck up. Call me. Now, what the fuck y'all come down here for, huh? Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, man. We done, we done went to a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Take this in. right here. God, they get so old. Take a crude, overly obvious cum on to every woman who walks past and cram it. That's my name. Huh. What? You gonna hit me now? That pretty much complete the picture. Ooh. This bitch is crazy. I like him like that. Let's take this bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. When to quit. We're just on the corner. 
co- committing rape in the daytime. Where is this place at again? Get your ass over there. The fuck you looking at, old man? The hell he spooks up to? Fuck you think you is? Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while that you shouldn't have fucked with? Why don't you get your ass up out of here before I kick your old wrinkly white ass? Get in the truck. Figure out. Oh, shit. That shit is real. You fucking don't listen, do you? Way to go, old man. Shut up, pussy. These guys don't want to be your bro, and I don't blame them. Take care now. Yeah, that happened in real life. I don't went a little different. Either way, it wouldn't have been good for nobody. Yeah, kind of. His name is Trey. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be hanging out with him. No, as long as in a place. It's a people. Long people come from different parts of Laos, Thailand, and China. This year, you have to make a choice between two life paths. Your lucky numbers are 84, 23, 11. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh. Yeah, let me help you with those. Oh, oh thank you. So you can uh, reach stuff. It makes things a lot easier. Huh. I should get rid of the coffin nails. Are alone and would benefit from being around folks their own age. Oh. Yeah, you you gotta learn how to talk to your dad. You just can't bombard him with all this shit at one time. You gotta lightly bring that shit in. And you should have talked to your pops one on one before your wife and the birthday. That's just me. Yes. You call, maybe? Fire. Mm-hmm. Meet other people. Kicking us out on his birthday. I told you this was a bad idea. I know you were. Ah, uh, we miss Mama, don't we, Daisy? We're having a barbecue. You want to come over? Just keep your hands off my dog. No worries. We only eat cats. Yeah. Um, son of a bitch. Come on over and get something to eat. We've got beer, too. Yeah, you got beer. Yeah. <laughs> Strangers, rather than alone now. This is gonna be interesting. Really? Happy birthday, Wally. Well, no pops, plenty of beer. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Fish heads. Oh my god. Take his ass outside. Most people believe that the soul resides on the head, so uh, don't do that. This food it does look good. It smells good too. Well, of course. Cork is interested in you. He heard what you did. He would like to read you. Like a mistake that you did, you're not satisfied with. It's like you're not at peace. <laughs> In common with these gooks, and I do my own spoiled, rotten family. Still a racist, but he's a racist with heart. Why don't we go down and get some of that good gook food? You know, I'm starving. Wow. Wow. Mango, we'll be going right here. I have to go now. <laughs> Look who's over there. Yeah, the kid who stole my friend Torino. My brother, Tal. Try to do it. That's a good question. What am I doing here? <laughs> Name's Walt. Hi, Walt. I'm you. Oh, I fix things. Stuff like that. Like what? Uh, I just fix that dryer there. Well, I'm about to take off. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Yum, yum. Pleasure. It's Tao. What? It's not Toad, it's Tao. My name is Tao. I may not be the most pleasant person to be around, but I got the best woman who was ever on this planet to marry me. You're letting Click Clack, Ding Dong, and Charlie Chan just walk out with Miss What's-Her- 
Click Clack Ding Dong and Charlie Chan. You mean you all? Yeah, yum yum, yeah. Nice girl. Good day, puss cake. Puss cake? No. They are still bringing stuff to his house. Beautiful flowers. Hey, He's changing. These people are changing him. No more, please. I is this that chicken dumpling thing? Oh, God, you you want to want to is that? Is, is that that? That's that chicken dumpling? Hey, yo, go ahead, and put that in the. Just stick it next to the microwave. Oh, I was going bowling, but fuck it, I'm about to eat some of this chicken. My mama said he dishonored the family, and now he has to work off his debt. Why is this being put back on me all of a sudden? He's the one who tried to steal my car. If he doesn't want to do it, then, then let's just go. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> on his ass, you hear me? You gotta work for me. I gotta know what you're good at. Yeah, what can I you do? Know what you can do. I, I don't know. So. What do you have for me today? You want me to wash the paint dry? How long do I have you for? Toad? How long? Till next Friday. You can take that gutter and nail it back up. I'm tired of looking at it. Last time. You see that? Yeah, you said it, brother. You said it, brother. <laughs> now he is working, working. Says he wants to know if you can have told clear out the big wasp nest under our porch. <coughs> Damn. Hey, it's it's my last day. So what else do you have for me to do? Mr. Kowalski? Good morning. I looked over your paperwork. What happened to Dr. Fellman, my regular doctor? It's Grandpa Walt. Pick it up. You talk to him, Mitch. Oh, nothing. Nothing much really. How's everything going? I'm not busy yet. I got a lot on my plate right now, so if there's not something pressing... No. Why don't you call me this weekend? Call me this weekend. God! Oh the Come Get In My Crew, please, gang. Ah, now they worse them. <laughs> what do you know about fossils? Well, man, where'd you get all this stuff? What are you talking about? I mean, there's just so much shit packed in here. Yeah. And there's a shears right there, and that's a saw. That's a tack hammer. You can't fool me, kid. I guess even a bonehead like you could understand that a man acquires this over a period of 50 years. Fuck me. What's with that? I just saw you cough the blood. That's not good. On my lawn. What about him? Just a gang. A bunch of mong gang dingers. What was your initiation supposed to be? My Grand Torino. Man, I hope you got somebody help you. Toad, you got a minute? <laughs> Keep calling Toad. All right, I'll take the top. It looks pretty heavy. Look, I'm not crippled. I've got the top. If you don't let me take the top, I ain't helping. So it's either top or I'm out of here. Just don't let it slip out of your little girl hands. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Oh, I know that motherfucker is heavy. I wish our father would have been more like you. Don't go calling me Wally. Noah, I'm serious. You like him, don't you? Are you kidding? Saved him from that fucked cousin of ours. Hey, get me another beer, dragon lady. This one's empty. That's probably why I see you in the garden over there all the time. First cavalry, I've had it since 51. My oldest son is in sales. Does he do well? Oh, yeah. So you want to... Being sales, you thinking about going to school, maybe? Kind of, but well, what kind of job could I ever get? Yeah, you're right. Nobody would ever hire you. You just listen to the way Martin and I batter it back and forth. Perfect. A Pollock and a chain. Oh, he's a uh, pussy kid from next door. I'm just trying to man him up a little bit. Mm. Like a real man. Come on, old. Come on. Get your ass out of here. What's up, you old Italian prick? Get out of my shop before I blow your head off, you goddamn dick-smoking goat! 
What should I have said then? Yeah, kid, why don't you start with, um, hi, or hello. Son of a bitch, I just got my brakes fixed, and those sons of bitches really nailed me. I mean, they screwed me right in the ass. <laughs> Fired coupons at the grocery store, and the minute I turn on the fucking game, she starts crying how we never talk. Excuse me, sir. I need a haircut. If you ain't too busy, you old Italian son of a bitch prick barber. Boy, does my ass hurt from all the guys <laughs> in my construction job. Just to look him straight in the eye, and a man could tell a lot by your handshake. Okay, uh, this is the kid I was telling you about. Uh, Tao, this is Tim Kennedy. He's super on this job. And he's a smart kid. He'll do anything you need him for. Got a vehicle? Not at the moment. My head gets get cracked. <laughs> and the goddamn pricks at the shop wants to bend me over for 2100. That actually worked. We'll find something for you to do. Thanks, Mr. Kennedy. There you go. Not to bitch, but wouldn't I be needing some tools? Tools I've got, but I'm not going to lend you my tool belt. You can pick up tools as you go. And he don't do none of this with his family. Anything else to fucking do? As soon as I'm by myself, that's when y'all really like to fuck with me. It's five of y'all in there. Come on, boy, what you doing? What up, man? What you got, punk? Yeah. Home from work. Not that you guys would know much about that. Don't be rude, man. Just do your thing and go on. Ah! 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 The hell happened to you? Don't worry about it. Grabbed me a couple of days ago, right after I got off work. I'll, I'll replace him. Don't worry about the tools. I could use a roofing hammer. Go in my garage and get it. Trying to do right, man. Trying to do right. And Walt know that. What is he going to do? Look at this fool. Hey. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, he is working him over. Here's the deal. You stay away from Tao, understand? Oh my god. <laughs> he beat the shit out of him in his yard. He didn't stand a chance. How old is this man in this movie? <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen you like this before. What happened to your knuckles anyways? Uh, look, now yum yum. If he doesn't ask you out, I'm gonna ask you out. He beat you to it. Really? No kidding. Look at you. Dating coach? kind of shit is that? How about that? The Gran Torino. Yeah. You'd let me take the Gran Torino. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, let nobody drive that car. Well, maybe some of our friends called and they changed plans. Damn, look what they did to her face. Man, he was fucking pissed. That's his family. I mean... You okay? Yeah. I'm okay. I took Sue to the hospital. She's scared. They're all scared. I come over here and talk to you, I guess. I know you're close with these people, but this pisses me off too, Mr. Kowalski. Want a beer? I love one. Whatever it is, they won't have a chance. Thinking. Thinking? Thinking time is over! We stay calm or else mistakes get made. We have to step back from this thing. I want you to go home and stay calm and come back here at four this afternoon. Give me a break, please. It's the first time I've ever smoked in the house. You've never asked for a straight shave ever. I know, but I've always wondered about it. <laughs> it's just in case you hit my jug. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, what have you done? Nothing. You just take it easy now. What are you up to? How long has it been since your last confession? Oh, forever. 1968, I kissed Betty Jablonski at the factory Christmas party. It's 
never very close with my two sons. I didn't know how. That's it. <laughs> they know you up to something. Thank you, Padre. Are you going to retaliate for what happened to Sue? Busy day. Gotta go. Which one's mine? Never fired a weapon before. What was it like to kill a man? You don't want to know. What? What? Fuck, let me out. I'll fucking kill you with a gun. Well, I act like he ain't coming back. I'm proud to say that you're my friend, but you got your whole life ahead of you. But me, I finish things. Yeah, I love you too. The keys to my house are under the ceramic turtle on the front porch. Let yourself in. Sorry, Father. We have to go. We can't afford to anchor a unit down to one location. I'm begging you to stay. I didn't think your ass would have came. Shut up, Goop. Because it was either he or you or someone who raped one of their own family. So where's Tao at? That pussy motherfucking cunt come? Don't worry about Tao. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh my god. <gasps> kind of jumpy, aren't we? A light? The fuck? Whoa, what are you doing? Oh my god. Hey, did you hear him step back? Uh, what happened? Uh, the the uh, morning, morning, uh, the morning, uh, the morning, 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 the Something I was going to take him out anyway. Walt Kowalski once said to me that I didn't know anything about life or death. Walt definitely had no problem calling it like he saw it. And I want to leave my house to the church because Dorothy would have liked it. And I'd like to leave my 1972 Grand Torino to my friend, Tao Van Lore. So Walt planned all this shit! And don't put a big gay spoiler on the rear end like you see on all the other zipper heads cars. I got a haircut. Tenderly, your story. Ask the neighbor to watch his dog. Or will be known. Standing strong. This was a tight story. It was set up beautifully. I can't say that I didn't know what was coming, but it was so beautifully done. Walt's story arc, he was still racist all the way to the end. He definitely was real. And he showed love in his way. And he felt love from his neighbor's family. And it was good to see him walking around the family house. I felt like after a while, like he was my uncle. I think this is a fantastic movie. I had, I had a great time with this movie. And Clint Eastwood is 232 years old. He looks great. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this movie. This is a fantastic movie. Thank you for watching another episode of The Fabulous Popcorn Reacts. Hit a link, do another movie, or just save a playlist. And, and look at it tomorrow or another day. I'm going to be here waiting on you. You mess with me.